Hello guys, uh, Shredak here. You might know me as the Singe player, the creator of the educational Singed Unranked to Diamond, and I'm here to make you a quick little Singed Mains Guide to Climbing in Season 13. So hopefully you will learn a few new things, whether you're new to the champion or if you've made it for a very long time. Okay, so let's get right into it. About me. So... A lot of you may know me as a Singed content creator, I've been maining Singed for about 2-3 to three years now, and recently I've achieved Master Tier in less than like 120 games playing uh, Singed only in multiple roles, as you can see here, these are the win rates, uh, and yeah, I'm very knowledgeable on this champion, and not only do I play Singed, I like to study the champion and very much truly understand his kit and his playstyle. Okay, and not only that, but I also am very interested in macro and itemization in League. Okay, let's go next. Okay, so starting off here, Singed mid lane. So a lot of you are going to be seeing Singed mid lane pop up uh, in your games, and this is due to it very much being spiked in win rate. Um, I believe Singed mid lane is one of the best ways to climb on Singed. Um, it somewhat strips Singed of his identity of, as a champion, uh, in terms of like what he is in top lane, but these are very core cool concepts. If you want to pick it up, uh, and it's very good for climbing, this is how you want to do it. So, primary runes that you need, always going to want, want to run Predator, and you want cheap shot. Uh, so Predator, we'll start with Predator here. Predator is all in all the best mid lane singed rune because it very much amplifies what you're going to be wanting to do around the map so if you want to roam top you want to roam bot you get the nice move speed burst you get the pressure on the map also allows you to invade level one with boots and start e um it's a, a very very useful tool that singe can use um and also um Predator has very surprising damage. Uh, it scales very, very well. Uh, in terms of keystones, it's very versatile. Uh, it gives you the red tree, which you really like. Um, so all in all, just a great rune. Uh, and moving on to cheap shot here. Singed is a, a very much Rylize champion, okay? If you're playing for your team in a perfect game, you're going to want Rylize um, most of the times. But there are some exceptions, but we'll get into them later. But cheap shot is amazing because it will proc every four seconds on your on your Q and on all of your AoE. And the thing is, also if your team impairs the movement, it even works pre rylize it, it will just give you that nice little bit of burst. Um, and eyeball collection, it goes without saying. You're going to be roaming in, around the map. You're going to be picking up adaptive. Uh, and ultimate hunter is incredibly good because singed is a very very ultimate rely ultimate reliant champion um and here on the secondary also we're roaming around the map so we're going to want celerity water walking this is your basic sin setup you, you're going to see here i start e here this is only for invading if you can't get an invade you start q so you're looking to basically lane until you get your swifty boots and then you're going to roam some points here to lay off so as you see i've mentioned the gold here so it's a bot lane centric meta so we're playing to get the bot lane gold and then we're also going to be sacrificing gold on mid. Now, not only does this accelerate our bot lane, but it also gets the enemy mid lane fed. And you might be thinking, oh, great, enemy mid lane's fed, he's going to 1v9. But this actually puts a high amount of pressure on the enemy mid lane to succeed, and it also will give him a shutdown, which you can collect later. So you just got to be very smart about it. So it's a roaming place, all right? So map is huge. You need, I can't stress enough, you need to be looking at the map, and you need to be roaming to the fights. Uh, and you're trying to snowball lanes. And I like to think of Singed as kind of a, a team play Katarina, right? You don't want to be taking these kills on these rooms. You're playing for your team. Okay, so this is Singed mid lane. And I would very much recommend it if you're looking to climb. And just in general, I think it's a very, very strong pick. Okay, next. So we have Singed top lane here. Uh, his most traditionally played position. Um... Singe top lane is very much uh, kind of a, a way of playing the game which you're going to have to get accustomed to. It might take you 50 games, it might take you 100 games, but it's going to take a lot of practice. If you're already a Singe man, you've already been through the ropes, I'm just going to explain here a couple styles that I like to play. So, 
I like this setup recently, um, going proxy smite spellbook now. A lot of you may be familiar with level 0 player, and level 0 player has played to 1k LP in the past, playing proxy smite singed, and the bread and butter of this build is you can proxy tier 2, tier 3, you take minion dmat, you take smite, you're an absolute nuisance on the map, you're taking camps, you're, you're everywhere, and you have these spell swaps. And these spell swaps are so versatile, because the late game, when you have Nimbus Cloak, uh, Unsealed Spellbook will outscale almost every rune. You have the Smite. Um, and all in all, it's just a really great play style into hard matchups. Uh, and I only say this because Cinch doesn't have many good matchups in top lane. Something to know. Um, but in those playable matchups, you might see a Jax that you think you can beat. You might see a Quinn. You might see a, um, um, all sorts of matchups. You can maybe beat a Riven. Uh, but in these matchups that you think you can win, and it's very much player dependent... Uh, Orn is another one I think I can win. I like to take Conqueror and Ignite, and with this I take Scorch and Nimbus Cloak. Um, but the bread and butter is, I split, play side lane, I make sure that I'm playing for the team fights, forcing the 5v5s, right? So dragon fights I want, I want herald fights, because Singed is such a good team fighting champion. So in the hard matchups we're going to be looking to proxy, and in the Ignite Conqueror matchups we're looking to solo kill. And one thing to note with the Spellbook playstyle is, at 14 minutes, you get the jungle minion debuff uh, removed. So you buy the jungle item, and you can start proxying, taking jungle camps, and it's just something to note. And with this style, you're going to be wanting the Moss Stomper Seedling. Uh, but all in all, Singe top lane, great pick for climbing elo. All in all, I would just say, really fantastic pick. Moving on. Okay, so, Singe jungle. Um, kind of a spiked a little bit in popularity lately, I believe because Socialist Singed and some other people have been playing it. Um, in order to play this style, you're going to be wanting to take the blue jungle, uh, mo uh, the Gust Walker, I believe it is. Anyways, yeah, you want the blue. Um, in this style, you're always going to be wanting to rush Demonic because it almost doubles your clear speed, almost triples your cl clear speed once you finish it. Finish it. Um, and in this jungle style, there's basically two uh, two styles. You have the full clear mini Ude, as I like to call it. This is more of your socialist singe kind of style, where you're going to want to be full clearing with your Demonic Embrace and getting yourself so fed to the point to where you can't lose a team fight because of how strong you are, okay? If you get this kind of lead, you can get a Demonic, you can get a Jack Show, you can even do a Radiant if you prefer. Um, and with this style, it's more looking towards the Fleet Footwork, guys, or Conqueror. Uh, Socialist Singe is very much more of a Conqueror style. Um, another thing I'd like to note is do not do Gromp. Uh, Gromp has been absolutely nerfed as a jungle camp, and it takes you so long, and for an AoE clear, you're looking to do AoE, ch uh, AoE camps, so... Whatever you do, do not do Gromp. Uh, you're looking to stack objectives with the team. Uh, so you're always going to be trying to make sure you get your bot lane ahead, you get your mid lane ahead, you use that prior, you get the drakes, you get the rift heralds, and you play for the objectives. Uh, and I'll quickly go over the predator play style. This is the one I prefer playing more. Um, with this style, I, I like to start Rappers, Red, Krugs every game, no matter what. And then after the Krugs, even if it's on the top side of the map, I will run bot and I will do a gank. So this 3 camp gank is very, very good because you just ghost. Even if you don't kill, you force sums and you're always there first. You are always, always there first, okay? One other thing to note, Singed is very, very underrated into many jungle matchups. So you have champions like Eve, you cancel her with your W, you have Wukong, you're very good into. You have champions like Maokai, you're good into. You have champions all sorts of champions in the jungle. I would say 80% of the jungle matchups are very, very winning for Singe. His one downside being his clear pre-demonic. So if you're looking for a spicy pick, this might not be the best for ELO, but I actually believe it has a lot of potential and you're looking for a one trick in the jungle and you're looking to improve at Singed, then definitely look into Singe jungle. Okay, moving on. Okay, so here I have a uh, item flowchart for laning. So I've just created this uh, roughly. Uh, if you would like to pause the video and have a look, that's totally fine, but I will quickly go over it. So the first question you should always be asking yourself is, are you playing for yourself or the team? Now this can be of, from a lot of different factors, okay? This can be from, do I have carries on my team? Am I the sole AP damage? 
Uh, am I good into the enemy comp? Am I bad into the enemy comp? All sorts of questions you need to be asking yourself. And as you'll see, you'll run through this uh, through this um, flowchart. You'll start to see many other questions like, is the team tanky? Are they primarily physical, magic? Um, do I have Conqueror, Predator? These kind of questions are the stuff that you really should be asking yourself, guys, um, to apply into your games. Uh, but if you would like to pause and save this very much, I would um, tell you to do so, because this may be very useful if you're new to Singed. Okay. So conclusion, why should you play Singed? Uh, Singed is a great champion for many reasons. Uh, to put it simply, he is one of the strongest team fighting champs in the game when piloted correctly, and his stat check nature allows him to be extremely oppressive in team fights when ahead. He provides great CC for his teammates, and he has a very high skill ceiling, which allows for high skill expression on a bizarre, rarely seen champion. If you are looking to put in the games, you will be rewarded. Singe is a champion where if you grind out the games and you know the numbers, he is so rarely seen by other people that you will be rewarded, okay? So definitely, I would say I recommend if you are looking for a champion to one trick, put the games into, and you're looking for something fun, Singe is a very, very good champion. Okay guys, so thank you for watching, um, recently as you see, uh, Twitch on the left, YouTube on the right, I appreciate all the support and comments I'm getting, I read them all, uh, I reply to them all, but um, I hope you guys can learn something new, I just feel very passionately about the champion and I want to make sure that everybody's piloting him correctly. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, uh, if, you if you enjoyed the video, maybe hit a like, subscribe, do whatever, uh, if you want to, I don't mind, uh, but yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.